Hello, I'm here to show you how to configure page approvals for a SharePoint site. Once you set up this flow, all updates made to your SharePoint pages and posts will only get published once you approve it. Here is how you can do it. I'm about to show you how to set up a content, content approval process uh, in your SharePoint site. Uh, I'm in my SharePoint start page. I'm choosing uh, one of my communication sites, DM brainstorming uh, to perform this tutorial. So the first step is to set up the uh, flow. For that, uh, we need to go to the pages library. So uh, I'm uh, moving the pages library here. There's a section, default section called pages. So I'm going to that page, click on it. And here you will see an option automate in the uh, menu section, just below the main menu section. Click on it, click on automate. And from Power Automate, you can choose configure page approval flow. Click on it. So this uh, side pane will appear, the configure page approval section. Click on create flow. And then uh, in the next section, you need to set up the flow. Here you can see that uh, all these uh, applications are involved in this process. Click on continue. And you can give a flow name here and you can also assign the approvers here. So I'm going to give the name submit SharePoint for approval. I'm going to give the name page approval flow DM. Uh, it's DM stands for the site and I'm going to assign myself as the approver here. So uh, enter the username so that you will get suggestions and choose the desired user from the drop down and click on create. The flow is now getting created and once it is done, you can try updating any of your pages. So I'm going to uh, make changes to any of my earlier pages here. So this is one of my uh, SharePoint pages. I'm clicking on it. So uh, here is a page here. So uh, I'm going to make some changes to it and let's see if I'm getting notified and see uh, if the flow is working. So I'm uh, clicking on edit here to edit the page and make some uh, changes. So uh, I can add a more, um, an extra sentence or edit, make some changes here. So I'm about to make some changes here and there just to make it different and update it. So once you're done with the updating changes, uh, making changes, uh, just click on submit for approval button at the top. This shows that there is a uh, approval process, content approval flow set up for this particular site. And if the flow is not present, uh, you will see the publish button here. So I'm clicking on submit for approval button here. So let's see if I'm getting uh, notified uh, for the for this change. Yeah, before that, uh, you can add a message to the approval, uh, uh, giving him an idea about what you changed and why you made the change. So I'm uh, entering a description here. So I have entered the uh, entered a message to let the approval understand the changes easily and approve the uh, content updation and. I'm clicking on submit to send the approval request. So uh, let me see if I have got an email regarding this change. Most probably there will be an email notification. Let me see. So I'm going to my Outlook uh, inbox right now. So yeah, there is a notification from Microsoft Flow and it says uh, climate change awareness requires approval for publishing. Yeah, so that's the page I edited here. So 
or the submission requested by who requested, date created, the link to the page, the message I have added. So uh, by clicking on the uh, click here to review page link, you can directly go to the page, which is in uh, draft mode or painting approval status. You can uh, check the page and once you have uh, check for the changes and if you're okay, you can click on approve. You can also add any comments if you want or just click on approve and submit. You can also use the reject button to reject the change uh, if that's the case. So you will see the uh, status of the approval right away in that email itself. And then you can go back to the page and yeah, all the changes I have uh, requested are, uh, are being updated and in the latest version of the page, the, all the changes is there. So that's how the uh, approval process work. And you can also turn off this uh, flow anytime if you wish. For that, I'm going back to the pages library option page, pages library, and uh, just click on the settings at the top and choose library settings and uh, go to version settings and you can choose no under the require content approval for submitted items by clicking on no you are disabling the content approval process so once you are doing this all the painting and rejected items may appear in public views that's the notification you get click on ok by saving that uh, you are you have actually disabled the content approval process so uh, that's one way you can do it and another thing i want to show you show us uh, you actually uh, disable the uh, content approval process now but if you uh, really want to um, delete the flow you have created in power automate through sharepoint online just now you can go to automate choose power automate and click on see your flows to just see all your uh, flows there so from here uh, you can see all the flows and you can choose uh, any of the flows and click on the ellipses here and choose delete if you want to completely remove that flow so that's uh, also a use very useful feature so uh, this is how you can completely configure the content approval flow and you can uh, customize your flows accordingly. You can enable it, disable it or remove it uh, completely. Try setting up an approval process for your SharePoint site and uh, let us know if you have any doubts in the comment section below. Have a great day.